it's, it's quite simple. If you look at the graph in the middle there, you can see that that's just a summation of all the research done that, that we've done on portfolio size. This research has been done on, on non-geographic specific, non-sector specific um, investments. It's, it's typically the kinds of data that we've used in this have maybe been 200 or 250,000 deals. And what we've found when we create these virtual portfolios is that a portfolio of 100 companies on average will return around 2.2, 2.3 cash on cash multiple, um, which is about the minimum acceptable return um, that, that a venture fund could offer an investor. Um, but a 2000 company portfolio returns almost twice the, the, that level of return on average. Um, and the bands between the two for the top 2000 company portfolio, and you can see on the graph on the left, the larger graph, that, that basically your bottom case for a 2000 portfolio, um, 2000 company portfolio, uh, which you can see in the red line here is basically 2x whereas your bottom case for a 100 company portfolio is 0x now just fundamentally changing the size of the portfolio really changes what you can deliver for investors because if, if an investor knows that the bottom case is likely to be 2x the mid case is four to five x and the top case is is, is you know above 8x that's a, that's a great bet uh, that's that's you know that's a profile a return profile that's worth worth you know, going for. Um, but if the return profile looks like 0x to a mid case of 2 point something x to a top case of 6x, it's less exciting. And so when we saw this data, we, we were quite excited by what it was telling us. Um, and that was that you just need to create a larger portfolio if you need, if, if you want to return those kind of returns, the 4x returns that investors are looking for. Um, the way that we like to characterize what this slide is saying, by the way, is uh, when we had our first fund, we had uh, 20 investments in 13 companies. And so we had to work extremely hard to get that 23% IRR that we managed to achieve. Um, and what we felt the whole time that we're doing with that traditional portfolio is we felt we're trying to beat the odds. Since doing this analysis, we now know that that's true. With that, that first fund, we're just trying to beat the odds the whole time that we're working all those years on that first fund with our new fund, with our H2 fund, where we've embraced the odds. We've basically figured out that if we have a 2000 company portfolio, we're going to end up with 20 unicorns in that portfolio. And that would sit very nicely alongside the data from YC, from 500 startups, from Sequoia and, and other large um, portfolio operators around the world. The chart on the right here is a, is a very interesting chart. This is the 10 year returns of, um, of hundreds of venture funds plotted on a graph. And you can see the clustering, it replicates what's on the left here, but using empirical data. And you can see that the clustering around this is uh, from 0x to 2.5x. It's almost identical to what you see um, with the, the green line on the, on, the, uh, on the left there. And that's because the bulk of VC funds are in that uh, operating in that area of you know, where we were operating like 10 companies through to 100 companies in the portfolio. So if you have, uh, if you're an angel investor, and you've made 10 investments and you're wondering why they're not unicorns, that's probably because you don't have 100 investments uh, because that really is the minimum level that you would expect to see a unicorn. Any time that you're seeing a unicorn in a 10 company portfolio, you're either better connected, smarter, luckier than the, than the next person, that's great if, if that all those things are working for you. But uh, I personally take the view that most people in this industry are pretty smart, pretty connected, and, uh, and you know probably luckier than the average bear um, so trying to differentiate on the basis of those three things, I think, is, is difficult in this business. Um, but differentiating on the basis of portfolio size is, is not only possible, it's preferable um, and when it comes to returns. Um, last thing on this slide is uh, INSEAD did some research about six months ago, um, and they came to the conclusion that, uh, that, that basically 500 investments is the minimum viable size for a seed stage. Um, VC, we agree with that conclusion, and and so our our overarching goal is to create a portfolio between five hundred and and fifteen hundred um, companies.